Welcome back to Daybreak on Trust TV. Now, the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA, has suspended Max Air Boeing 737, Part A3, and the D43 uh, aircraft from operation over safety concerns. The regulatory body disclosed this in a statement issued by its general manager, Public Affairs, Sam Adurobui. It said the action is based on several distress occurrences that involved the airline's Boeing B737 aircraft types. The authorities said another justification for the suspension was the contamination of the main fuel tank of aircraft B737-300 with registration marks 5N MHM, leading to the auxiliary power unit, that's the APU, shut down on ground at Yola Airport on 7th July. Joining us via Zoom from Canada is the Director General of Civil Aviation, Captain Musa Nuhu, to discuss this issue. Good morning, Captain. Yeah, good morning. Thank you very much. All right, so uh, let's start with uh, what you're talking morning. about. Can you hear me? Uh, aviation safety. Now, when it comes to uh, aviation safety, what are the most important pillars, you know, for safety management? Uh, thank you very much. <clears throat> there, there are several many factors uh, uh, that uh, affect uh, aviation safety. And um, we have what we call the safety management system, where the uh, authority, that means uh, the NCA, mandates the airlines uh, to comply with the extent regulations and terms and conditions of their certificates to ensure that uh, all procedural processes are done in the right manner to ensure that uh, the safety margin uh, is not reduced for all flight approaches. Okay, uh, Captain. Now, uh, we're still talking about uh, this. Now, according to research, it is actually noted that 80% of air accidents were actually caused by human error, which uh, ranged from pilot uh, uh, air traffic controller and aircraft engineer error. Now, uh, can you please tell us how such occurrences can actually be handled, you know, uh, talking about in, in the future? Because if you take a look at uh, the aircrafts uh, these days, uh, the airlines these days, they're actually, there's actually a lot happening. Uh, the latest one had to do with with um, uh, Max Air, where uh, they complained about uh, substandard fuel. And even before then, uh, during takeoff, uh, there was an issue with, you know, you know, one of the tires. So how can some of these concerns be handled better in the future? Yeah, thank you very much. Well, uh, in order to uh, find solutions to such problems, I have to do a proper investigation to find the on the root cause, to find what is creating these issues. Uh, and there are so many things that could create these issues, and uh, investigation is being done. And one of the major things that could create is lack of compliance or the technical guidance material, lack, lack of compliance with, uh, with uh, civil aviation regulations, the Nigerian civil aviation regulations and recommended and standard practices. But the issue is just that the why are this organization or person not complying with this? You have to find the reason why there is a lack of this compliance. Then you deal with the root cause rather than dealing with the system. The lack of compliance or violations could be intentional, it could be unintentional. Mm. But the important thing is to find the reasons beyond this uh, lack of compliance and uh, deal with that. So currently we are investigating uh, to find out why or lack of this compliance. Uh, it could be lack of training. It could be anything. Uh, so we need to find the really uh, the real reasons behind this. Then uh, we, can, we implement measures uh, to uh, prevent the recurrence of such uh, uh, unfortunate incidences. 
All right, Captain Musa, you know, talking about safety, it's not all about the aircraft, it's also about the pilots. Now, the general practices, you know, uh, globally in civil aviation, the average age of commercial pilot is 45 to 50. Is there any reason for that? You know, are pilots adequately trained uh, or is it a case of poor judgment? Because we've seen uh, situations where Nigerians sometimes make complaints about uh, the landing of a plane or the takeoff where they feel like the pilot is not too uh, professional, you know, in taking off and landing or flying the plane in general. So what's your thoughts on that? <laughs> I'm, uh, as a pilot, as a professional pilot for over four decades, uh, there are many things that affect a pilot, uh, flying, takeoff, landing. Uh, sometimes when the runway is sweat or when it's raining, and you do a smooth landing, that's what you call aquaplaning. You call run off the runway, not being able to stop the aircraft because the tires do not actually have contact with the concrete of the runway. It is floating. So sometimes you need to do those hard landings for safety so that there's proper contact with the runway and uh, you're able to stop uh, the aircraft. So there, there are so many reasons. And, uh, many occasions, if the runway is relatively shot, you need to stop, you need to land now and stop the aircraft. And so uh, what we call soft landing or uh, super landings are not always uh, safe practices uh, for pilots. Uh, pilots are well-trained people, probably the most well-trained professionals in the world because every six months we are expected to go and do re uh, uh, recurrent training, simulator recurrent training. And what this does you practice emergencies and the simulator that you cannot actually practice in the aircraft. And if there are new development uh, or uh, new development from investigations or whatever from previous instances, you practice those in the simulator. So the pilot is one of the most uh, trained uh, professionals. <clears throat> and by the way, pilot is not the only person responsible for the safety of everybody including the ground personnel, the cleaners, the engineers, everybody's involved uh, in the safety of a uh, 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 flight operation. Okay, Captain, you'd actually agree that uh, when it comes to uh, aircraft maintenance is is not uh, as easy as you taking your car to the mechanic workshop, you know, and getting it fixed. Everything has to be done by the book. Now, when it comes to emergency situations, would you say that uh, uh, the the crew, the airline crews, or the airline crew, or even the aviation, you know, sector is 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 equipped to be able to handle emergency situations yes uh, before we are certificated and uh, we do audit uh, routine audit uh, we do inspections uh, to ensure that each and every airline uh, meets the requirements and the terms of conditions of their certificate or approval of Permit whatever is given to them uh, to operate. Yes, uh, maintenance is a very difficult thing. Uh, maintenance is uh, very expensive, and a couple who, the fact, we don't have a major uh, maintenance repair organizations uh, in this part of the world. So certain levels of maintenance uh, have to be done outside the country, and uh, costs is in dollars, which we know the exchange rate is. Uh, uh, very, very expensive. So it's it's not easy, but uh, it's something that is mandatory. And uh, sometimes the airlines are not able to pay uh, because they are unable to get the uh, uh, the dollar component. So we insist those aircrafts are grounded until uh, they are able to do the maintenance as required. You know. And uh, there's program maintenance, there's scheduled maintenance. Uh, sometimes it depends on the calendar. Uh, sometimes it depends on the number of hours in aircraft flights. And there's a scheduled maintenance, which something could happen before a scheduled maintenance. So it's not an easy process. But there are certain level of maintenance, line maintenance, the airlines do. 
and uh, we do follow up with them through surveillance and only to ensure that uh, they do comply with this uh, uh, maintenance procedures following the approved guidelines and uh, approved manuals. We go quickly. Uh, you talked. We talked. About, we've talked about uh, you know aircraft maintenance. But what about the aircraft itself? Because there are rumors that most of the aircraft you know used in Nigeria are forty years and over. You know, uh, seeing that you know some of these aircraft have aged, isn't isn't that a problem? Well, uh, first and foremost, we for commercial passenger pressures only allow aircrafts that are 22 year old to be brought into Nigeria. But the, the issue is not the age of the aircraft. The issue is the appropriate maintenance being done and taken into place. That's the issue. Um, okay. uh, you, it's like having a car. You can see a car that is 50 years old, but because the owner or owners are taking well care of it, the car is in a good condition. So with aircraft, it's mechanical, it's, it's, it's the maintenance, but yes, it may have an issue with all the aircrafts because uh, depending on when the production of the aircraft will stop, you may have difficulties uh, on getting the uh, spare parts because sometimes the aircraft manufacturers, the OEM, have stopped production of that type and uh, after a period of time, they stopped the production of the uh, spare parts. So, uh, yes, all the aircrafts uh, cost more to operate, and uh, but the status of an aircraft is not determined by its age, it's determined by uh, the uh, maintenance zone on the aircraft. And uh, that's a new trend in Nigeria, very, very impressive and uh, very encouraging. A lot of the air, airlines have started uh, um, buying new, brand new aircrafts, which uh, is a very positive response. Yes. So hopefully, uh, and these new aircrafts are more efficient in terms of operation, uh, in terms of cost saving, and also their maintenance is uh, is a lot is a lot less. You know, the demand for maintenance is a lot less. All right. Thank you so much, Captain Musa, for joining us this morning. Of course, it was a really interesting conversation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do have a great day. Okay. Well, that was Captain Musa Nuhu, Director General Civil Aviation. Now, let's take a quick break. And when we come back, of course, the show continues. Stay with us.